This is my review of the graphic novel of Iron Fist, The Last Iron Fist Story, published by Marvel Comics. Before seeing the second season of Netflix uh, of Iron Fist, I wanted to seek out a good comic book story based on the character. This book was initially published in 2007 in an issue format, and I'm reading like the collection here now. Um, the leading writers and artists were Ed Brubaker, Matt Fraction, and David Aja, or Asia, I'm not sure how to say his name. But let me give you a brief synopsis of this comic book so you can know what I'm talking about. Now, this is according to the Amazon.com description. Uh, this collects Immortal Iron Fist issues 1 through 6. Many years ago, in the mystical city of Kun Lun, young Danny Rand stared at a suit behind glass, the garb of the Immortal Iron Fist, and knew that he was destined to wear it. But where did his costume come from? Why did it wait for Danny all those years like a shadow of his future? This history-spanning kung fu epic will shatter every perception of what it means to be the Immortal Iron Fist. Now, that is the Amazon.com description of selling the book. But I'm going to go ahead and give you some of my notes from reading this. And there will be spoilers for this particular comic book. If you want to read this comic book, please follow the link that I will leave at the very end of this article. And by buying the book through that link, you will be supporting both the publisher and myself. Also, I recommend if you like to read your comics digitally, you can go ahead and get it on the Comixology app. And uh, you can read it on your phone, you can read it on your tablet, whichever way you prefer. Now my notes. The Netflix show was recently canceled. I don't doubt Iron Fist Season 3 would have borrowed heavily from this arc. At the end of Season 2, he is looking for Orson Randall. And this book that I'm about to talk about is Orson Randall's backstory. Now we're talking about the art in the comic book, and this is David Aja's art, which is beautiful. I love the way he draws slender, muscular figures. When I saw his artwork in this comic book, it reminded me of Jay Lee's work. And I'm going to leave links so you can check out Jay Lee's work, and you can check out Mr. Aja's work, so you can compare for yourself. And in first buying this book, I noticed how slim it was. I thought, is this going to be a quick read? And it was. You're thrust right into the world. It doesn't fully expect you to know who Iron Fist is. It does go into a brief version of his origin. I've never known much about Iron Fist until the Netflix series. I learned through this book that there have been many Iron Fists throughout the centuries. The first season of the show hinted that there were previous holders of the Iron Fist mantle. What's not covered is in the show is that they seem to live an extraordinary amount of time, more than a normal human lifespan. It's great to see cameos in this comic from Luke Cage, Daughters of the Dragon, which is Colleen Wing and Misty, Knight, uh, Davos is in this book, Hydra is in this book, and so are the Crane Sisters. I didn't know Jerry Hogarth, uh, who's played by Carrie Ann Moss in the Jessica Jones show, and I, I know she's shown up in the Defenders as well, that I didn't know Jerry Hogarth was actually a guy in the books. And uh, it cements the characters of the TV show a little further for me, seeing them in the comic book and, you know, uh, seeing them in the show. Orson Randall uh, was a badass and not one to be crossed. I liked mentoring Danny. Um, this book, it feels like a 90-minute action movie with Danny and Orson kicking all kinds of Hydra ass. As I read the book, I began thinking, I might have to pick up Volume 2. I'm enjoying this. Where I changed my mind about getting Volume 2 was the end. Danny and Davos basically kick each other after Orson's death. There's an explosion, and Davos runs away to fight another day. Most of the book, Davos was getting prepared to finish Danny and Orson, putting himself through self-opposed trials kicking all kinds of his own Hydra ass, just kind of like testing his skills. But in the end, he finishes Orson in a few panels. I'm talking about Davos. And one kick at Danny, and now he has to run away. In his aforementioned preparation, uh, he ordered even a large group of Crane Sister clones to his side to suck their life force and empower him, bringing Davos kick ass levels to new highs but uh he kills a bunch of hydra soldiers for practice just to run away at the end what 
I came into this book curious about Iron Fist. That iron, that curiosity turned into interest. But this was dashed away by the Einstein climactic ending. I may still check out volume two, but not anytime soon. As I mentioned before, there's a link here to check out this book. This is the Immortal Iron Fist comic book. This is volume one, the graphic novel, and it's called The Last Iron Fist Story, referring to Orson Randall.